Now let's talk about the International Space Station. It is aging and this has invited an array of problems, about 50 of them problems, including the fact that the space station is leaking air. So NASA has gone into crisis mode. They're calling the leak the highest level of risk and drawing up an evacuation plan for the people on board. But the risky bit is this. NASA does not know why the space station is leaking or where it is leaking from. Here's a report. This is the International Space Station. This is where thousands of scientific experiments were conducted. From finding out why humans age to the discovery of new materials. ISS is the largest space station ever built. It circles the Earth every 90 minutes. And the space station has done this for a very long time. It was launched in 1998 and its crude operations began in 2000. That's more than two decades of work experience. It would surely tire anyone out. And that's what's happening with the ISS as well. It's aging. So, like with any aging body, the ISS too is encountering problems. About 50 of them. The International Space Station is jointly run by a number of countries. This includes NASA, that's the US Space Agency, Roscosmos, the Russian Space Agency, and an international coalition which includes the European, Japanese and Canadian space agencies. These agencies monitor different sections on the ISS, and Roscosmos has discovered a number of problems in its section. There are about 50 quote-unquote areas of concern. Among these, there are two main problems. First, air leaks. About 1.7 kilograms of air leaks per day. But do you know the best part? Nobody knows why the air is leaking or where exactly it's leaking from. Just that it's leaving the space station. The second problem is cracks, about four of them. For now, Roscosmos has patched up the cracks. But NASA is in crisis mode. They are so concerned that they have negotiated a deal with their Russian counterpart. They want to seal off a small segment of the space station and only use it during critical operations. They have classified this problem as the highest level of risk and they are studying how to evacuate astronauts in case of an emergency. Currently, there are 11 people on board. NASA says that the station is safe for now, but they need options for rapid departure. So this year, NASA awarded SpaceX. SpaceX is controlled by tech mogul Elon Musk and NASA has paid them $266,000. Why? To come up with a contingency plan. But that's not the only deal NASA has signed with SpaceX. ISS has been in the orbit for 10 years longer than planned. Due to its rapid aging, it needs to be pulled out of the orbit. It needs to be disposed of in a few years. So this year, NASA signed another deal with SpaceX. They will give SpaceX $843 million. Why? To kill the International Space Station. SpaceX will devise a craft. It will latch on to the 430-ton ISS. Then the vehicle will guide the craft and pull it out of Earth's orbit. If this is not done properly, the laboratory can fall back to Earth. So NASA and SpaceX have a big task on their hands. Together, they will force the International Space Station into retirement, which seems to be a tradition in the United States at this point. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.